Man. Southern Miss drops to two and seven on the year. UTSA just got bowl eligible. If this was a normal season, they would have just claimed bowl eligibility with their sixth win. They go to six and four on the year. Um, Southern Miss fans, we dropped to two and seven, as I said. Uh, final score, Southern Miss Golden Eagles, 20. UTSA, 23. Uh, we let, lost by a field goal. Uh, Coach Billings, he, he, he made a point after the game to go ahead and put a, a, a post game out there. And he, he, he was quick to say that, Oh, we left three touchdowns out there, and, and that kind of that kind of rubbed me because I'm, I'm, this guy keeps putting us in positions to win. Uh, yeah, the fake field goal, you know, people are talking about that. I agree. We probably shouldn't have done that. We probably should have, you know, kept kept playing this ball game. I mean, we lost by a field goal. We tried a fake field goal, and that shit didn't work. Come on, man. Uh, let's get into some stats, man. This is it's kind of hard to talk about. Uh, Tate Tate Wiley. Uh, 22 completions on 39 attempts, 272 yards. I'm sorry, I'm getting some text messages in it. 272 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Frank Gore Jr., uh, real quick, I told y'all in the pregame, hopefully Coach Billings was listening. I don't think he was. Uh, he only gave Frank Gore Jr. 13 carries the whole game. He only got, what, 70 yards, no touchdowns. I told everybody, you got to give Frank Gore Jr. 100 carries. We win games. But we're, we've won two games when Frank Gore Jr. is uh, is over 100 yards, and we've only got two two wins for the whole season. So what's that tell you, Southern Miss fans? Give that boy the ball. Let's make sure we're giving him 100, 100 yards a game. Um, that's all I'm saying. If we can just give this guy 100 carries, that's 30 more yards than what he had. 30 more yards, and and, and we lost by three. Come on, guys. I, I I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I just feel like every time this guy's out there getting over 100 yards, he's getting touched, uh, getting uh, getting those touches, and he's able to. We're able to win. When, like I said, he, he, people people uh, key on him and stuff like that. Uh, Tim Jones Jr., my man, you got moss. I'm sure you you got to be in that thing, dude. You had a great uh, great catch. I'm extremely proud for uh, what Tim Jones did for the Golden Eagles. That was an awesome touchdown catch. Uh, five receptions, 65 yards, 13 average, one touchdown with uh, 22, uh, his longest for the day. Uh, Frank Gore Jr. also had two catches, 57 uh, receiving yards, and one touchdown. Uh, maybe that's where, you know, and that was a cr awesome screen, little little dump off, whatever y'all want to call that. Uh, the dude took it to the crib, baby. Uh, it looked great. It, uh, you're looking like your pops out there with even, I'm going to tell you this, I think you got better hands than old, than your old man, bro. But, um, Keep doing what you're doing. Maybe that's where Coach Billings was like, look, he technically got over 100 yards. Dude, I'm talking rushing yards, Coach. You got to give this guy rushing yards. Uh, uh, on, on the other side, JBL, uh, on, uh, he had two catches, 55 yards. He averaged 27 yards a catch. Uh, I don't think he got the ball enough, just my opinion. JBL is kind of a – maybe that's because Tim Jones is out there. Maybe that's because they were planning on getting Frank Gore in the passing uh, game. Uh uh, I just think JBL needs more catches, Coach. Two, two's not enough for my man. Uh, also, <clears throat> Robinson, I do want to announce that I, I, I predicted he had his first touchdown today. Uh, they gave him the ball four times. He only got 16 yards. Uh, we can't be too impressed with that. Um, Tate Watley did lose that fumble. Uh, his QBR rating was a 25. That's, that's not good at all. Defense, I just want to – uh, usually I don't touch too much on defense. Hayes Maples, 11 total tackles. Um, let's see who. Let's see uh, Ek. Where's Eric Kitchen? Five tackles. <clears throat> Swayze Bozeman, nine total tackles. Malik Shorts, nine total tackles. Uh, uh, Hempy, seven total tackles. It just seemed like these guys were all over the place, man. And and, and it was awesome. Uh, Malik Shorts, uh, nice pick, bro. Keep that shit going. Uh, we need more picks out of you. You're doing a great job. Um, but Briggs, two for two on his field goals, uh, he, like, uh, eight total points in the game. Uh, real quick, I do want to shout out Fleming, our punter. Dude had four punts, 151 yards. He averaged 37 yards a, a punt, and a, a, his longest punt was 44 yards. I do want to shout out special teams, you guys. I thought y'all played a pretty well game, uh, pretty good game. I just, I don't like the fake field goal call. I kind of feel like it left some points out there. 
Uh, maybe that could, I mean, if it worked, it worked, we wouldn't be talking about it, but it didn't work, Coach. Um, and, of course, we got to talk about that because we lost by three. Uh, also, Franco, you know, Harris, 12 completions, 19 attempts, 71 yards, one touchdown, one pick with a 30 overall uh, QBR uh, quarterback rating. Uh, this McCormick kid, guys, uh, 32 carries, my God. Uh, 173 yards, two touchdowns. His longest run was a 69-yarder. <sighs> Going into this game, I was more worried about Franco, you know, Harris, you know, all that little option shit. I was thinking he's going to run on us, then he's going to throw, and that was going to be kind of the Malik, uh, Malik, what you talk, what you talking about, Willis character. But uh, he didn't he didn't do what he we thought he was going to do, and they just kind of kept dishing it off to uh, this McCormick kid and, my God, McCormick just had our number today, uh, yesterday, and he just ran over. So uh, I do want to talk about old Joe, uh, Bo Cephas. Cephas had a great game, I feel like, against the Golden Eagles. He had five catches, 44 yards, and, and no touchdowns. But it seemed like every drive, and, and I know it only says five touchdowns, but it did seem like every drive he had something to do with something. This guy, I mean, whether he was catching that ball or just blocking downfield, uh, Bo Cephas, I do want to shout you out. We gave you hell before the game. Uh, Bo Cephas, you got you got it, man. We'll, 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 we'll hold it up. I don't don't want to talk too much about that uh, UTSA team. Uh, I just can't believe, Southern Miss fans, that we let this one go. I feel like we were in the right position to win this game. I feel like uh, Coach uh, kind of regrets maybe. Maybe he doesn't, but I th feel like he regrets doing that uh, field goal. Uh, fake field goal attempt uh maybe i'm wrong uh i just <sighs> i just want us to win a game are we gonna beat this next opponent out of uh uab we gotta go on the road now we gotta go over there and uh we gotta attempt to to beat these uh blazers we'll get more on all this uh y'all stay tuned i am i do want to make some housekeeping real quick uh, I wasn't able to be at the game yesterday. I apologize for that, players. Um, I had a, I had a, I also, let me, let me finish this. I also uh, told everybody that, hey, I'll be doing a live stream during the game. If you can't get the game, then y'all come hang out with Sippy and we'll watch that game together. I was wrong on that as well. I apologize. Um, I had some housekeeping at my house that I had to do. Uh, the, the, from the meat, the water was disconnected from the meter to the house. There's an extension. And I had to fix all that. I was bowed up all day trying to, uh, you know, get my get my water turned on for my babies, my mom and them, and all that at the house. You know, that's just how kind of how world works, man. Right? It, you know, you work all week week just to get to game day, and then you, you all hyped up for game day, and then bam, something pops off, and you can't go to Hattiesburg and watch these Golden Eagles attempt that win. And and hey, some people, you know, you might say, Sippy, we didn't win because you weren't there. I'm sorry, man. I am. I at least uh, gave the tickets away so someone could fill those seats. Uh, I always want to make sure we can pack out that stadium. I'm, this won't, I say it won't happen again, man. Life hit me square in the head. And uh, Southern Miss to the top, man. I, once again, I am sorry to the, to the players. Uh, I can't believe I missed it. Uh, but please understand uh, that my babies, my house, we got to have water, man. So Southern Miss to the top. Uh, hopefully this won't happen again. Uh, it's been some difficulties getting on here and being able to talk with y'all but I, I we're gonna do a better job at that and uh maybe maybe i fixed it so we won't have that issue again huh uh, we'll see uh to the top